to drive you absolutely mad. If you're not afraid of the dark, lock the door and pull up the covers. Because here comes a new film directed by John Carpenter. Cut. In the Mouth of Madness from New Line Cinema, starring Sam Neill, Julie Carmen, Jurgen Prochnow, and Charlton Heston. The film is about the mysterious disappearance of Sutter Kane, a wildly popular horror writer whose books are driving people insane. One more Sam Neill, star of Jurassic Park in the Piano, is John Trent, an investigator. Sam Neill starts out much more like um, Philip Marlowe. He's a pro, he's uh, at the top of his game, he's sophisticated and hip, and then an hour and a half later, we reduce him to this battling crazy man. You hear me? I'm not insane! John Trent is an insurance investigator. He lives and works in New York, and he's the best there is. And it looks like the insurance company that I work for is going to be sucked for a lot of money. So I have to find this guy. Kane disappeared two months ago without a trace. Look, it's a setup. It's a setup. I just have to work out how. Academy Award winner Charlton Heston plays Harglow, the publisher of Kane's books. I'm a successful publisher, the head of an important publishing house, and dealing with this author's work. We have nothing to hide, Mr. Trent. I desire only our fair share if Kane is dead or our property if he's alive. Julie Carmen plays Linda Stiles, the publishing firm's top book editor. Kane is a billion dollar franchise. He's a tentpole to this company. Kane's writing has been known to have an effect on his readers. I need to know if he's alive or dead, and I need that book. We've delayed publication as long as we can. But look at this. It's a map. Together, they go on a supernatural journey. We're not talking about reality here. We're talking about fiction. It's different, you know? A reality is just what we tell each other it is. Sane and insane could easily switch places if the insane were to become the majority. Until we drive to Hobbs End, this fictitious town, I still believe in reality. And Sam Neill basically is asleep while I'm driving when the supernatural things start happening. I drive through an abyss. Jürgen Brocknow, the internationally acclaimed star of Das Boot, is Sutter Kane, the horror writer whose books are driving people insane. This writer has uh, a strange influence on people, to say the least. The readership is acting crazy. And, uh, they're desperately awaiting for a new book. People are beginning to act schizophrenic. When people read his books... Do you read Sutter Kane? What? They go mad as Sutter Kane reveals a bizarre tale of the past. He's been in contact with the old ones, the monsters that lurk just beyond the threshold, waiting to take back our world, because they used to be here. Academy Award winning effects company ILM takes the audience to the edge. I love to work with John. I mean, he always challenges me and ILM with some very unique concepts for effects. Our antagonist in the film, Kane, basically rips apart reality. Part of it is done here on location, and then part of it is done back in a laboratory type setting to finish it. The creature creators at award-winning KNV let their imaginations run wild. In this particular script, there are a lot of monsters. So what we would do is rough sketches, and then we would let John Carpenter take a look at them. All right, action. Head up a little more. They've made some great creatures. They all move and roar and do all sorts of great stuff, and it's, it's fun to work with. Not reality. <laughs> reality is not what it used to be. I know this book will drive people crazy. But I just hope so. The movie comes out next month. In the mouth of madness. <laughs> Any good books lately?